How's it going, fellas? Welcome back to Toy Hunters to Russ. My, I'm your host, Dibney. And it's been a minute since the last time I've spoken to you guys. And today I'm back at my mediocre attempt to do some review videos. But I like to think, as always, that I get the job done, of course. With that said, uh, today I'm bringing you another addition to my NECA collection. Bring you the God of War himself. This is the Ultimate Ghost of Sparta from uh, God of War 3. I passed on this guy for the longest time. I remember seeing it at, uh, at Toys R Us for like 20 bucks and then it went on clearance and even then I still like passing on on him. But um, eventually, you know, as time time passed, God of War, the new God of War came out and got a little bit excited and then I saw, saw it in person and actually held it in my hand. And, and I thought to myself, why did I even pass down on this guy? So I determined myself to get it and eventually I found it on eBay for really cheap. So it's not a knockoff. I was able to get it. So here's a, a little shot to whatever's inside. Got the golden fleece over there, an extra head, the blades of exile, and the uh, Nemean uh, Cestus, I believe they're called. Oh, yeah, and then you got the I believe this is what was something from the beach. I forgot what it was called. Another shot on the side. You got something right there on the back. Want to read it? Go ahead, pause it. And right there, got a war. And there you have it. And let's dig in right away. I'll leave the box right there. See. I even upgraded myself with some new tools. Got the wire ties right there. Nice and easy, see? Done. Again, I don't even think I can stress enough how my, um, how careful you have to be with these NECA figures. At this point, I believe NECA should just uh, put a little uh, crazy glue on this package because they always tend to break I mean not always but you know let's see I'm gonna be really careful so if you press the wrong way you actually break his legs for all we know because this figure is a little bit old I think the game came out probably 10 years ago, so there he goes. So I just don't want to press against it too much. I dropped the golden fleece, see? Got it. Sorry. So right away, so I'm taking a look at this. I don't want to put the wrong amount of pressure and then I break it. I think I have just the right thing for this. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, actually, a friend of mine gifted me some NECA stands. So just in case I can get this guy to stand. Booyah! They seem to do the work. Right away, let's take a look at the accessories. So here's the Nemean Ancestus, as seen in God of War 3. Right away, you can appreciate all the detail throughout the figure their label with the R for the right arm L for the left le left arm so pretty cool I was kind of hoping that they would be spring loaded but I guess it's almost not possible so I think I'm asking too much for this already <laughs> and then 
here we have the Blades of Exile. That's one thing I can really appreciate from NECA is that they really do put a lot of detail on these accessories. So that's pretty awesome. You can see the chain has like two different tones of colors. It goes from like a metallic gray to like a metallic orange, kind of like resembling the, the fire from the blades. So that's cool. Here's the extra head, which I think is an understatement to say that this is a relaxed Kratos because if anything, this guy needs to chill. And then the golden fleece, no biggie right there. I believe there's a place where this thing goes. I forgot. Oh yeah, right there. Because of his right arm. Again, got to be really careful because you don't want to break your figure. It actually has a, a way for it to go. You see? It's actually sculpted. So you have to match it. Luckily, it's made out of soft plastic, so just a little bit of pressure, and it should go in. There we have it. And let's see. I'm almost, a, well, not almost. I'm actually afraid to show you the articulation on this figure because, you know, I could actually end up breaking it. But showing uh, more about the figure, it comes with this little storage right there so you can put the blades I believe I'm doing it wrong. I might be doing it wrong. For all I know. Because I never know. No, that's wrong. <laughs> see? Let's see if in the back it shows a picture how it goes. Oh no, I, I did have it right. I guess I gotta look for a way for it to go. There we go. So that's storage for the weapons, which is cool. Was appreciated. So right away, looking at the articulation. Okay, doesn't look like I have. Oh uh oh, I do have a tight joint. Oh man, <sighs> looks like a little bit of pain went in, into the joint right there between his legs but yeah okay so looking right away over here at the head you get it's on a ball joint or a ball pack i should say you don't have enough uh range to look up can't look down that much neither then you have it on a hinge for the arm so you got rotation then this little gummy piece gets in the way so i guess you move it around there's some bicep rotation here. Again, gotta be careful. At this point, I think I should get a heat gun. Double jointed elbows. Right there. The hand, it's on the hinge swivel right there so you got movement up and down in full rotation you get the sweet ass app crunch gives you about that much and then towards the back a little bit more gotta stress it out a little bit the legs go about that high not really high there's no uh, well, yeah, it, there is. Yeah, there's rotation right there on the on the leg, on the thigh. Give you a little bit more range. Double jointed knee, sweet. I can see an ankle pivot here. Uh, you had a hinge right there for the foot. I gotta loosen that up a little bit because. I can feel the paint is in there. 
and there's a little bit of toe articulation there. The sandal gets in the way, but it's there. Now, if you look at the details for like the vest, you can see it was well sculpted. It's a sculpted and then paint throughout. Gives it that leather look to it. And for the way, uh, for the belt right there, to the back. And then right there, the sculpting for the golden fleece, some blood to add detail to it. Nice, and then the detail for the chains. That's cool. I know there was another figure that I saw from God of War 3. It actually had a... Uh, it actually had um, chains for these, for these weapons. At first I thought it, this one was the one that came with the chains, but no, it didn't come with the chains. I'm over here left to wonder. So I'm trying to put the Blades of Chaos, I mean the Exile Blades. careful oh there goes my cat <laughs> again uh this neck stand it's quite a miracle because look it actually does gets the job done looks very badass and they actually give him a tone to the skin i don't know if you can see it there's like texture with the paint so it gives it uh two different tones of skin so you got the the gray and then fades into white or I should say white and then fades into gray so gives it that ashy look to him that's nice detail for that big ass scar right there on his abdomen and more some detail for the bany biceps right there sweet and this undergarment right there nice detail more ashy look to to his skin all throughout the figure and then the boots of Hermes right there. Nice touch. Since they included uh, the naming ancestors, I was kind of hoping that they will give us the, the bow of Apollo. Um, they did give us these. Uh, what, what else was there? There was, they, yeah, that's right. There was another release because I they, they on that figure, it also had... Um, the blades of Hades, those purple hook thingies. So I don't know. I got I gotta look into it more because I I'm pretty sure I'm I'm missing something over here. But yeah, they didn't give us the the head of Hermes. I guess a little bit too gnarly. But in the newer two pack, they did give us another another head for Mimir. So there you have it. Okay, so. I paused it because I noticed I made a mistake. I forgot to mention that this figure actually has a rotation on the hip. So that's something I should have pointed out from the beginning. And then uh, also I'm going to start showing you the rest of the accessories. How they actually look. Complete with the figure. By the way, that uh, neck stand is pretty, pretty sweet. Especially if the figure keeps falling does make miracles okay so this one goes on the right arm i don't know if you have to remove the cesta uh the freaking golden fleece okay why is it not going in interesting interesting let's see okay there we go so yeah, you do need to remove the, the golden fleece if you want your cestus to go in. That's as far as it'll go. On to the next. Oh. Oh, that makes it easy for me to show you the rest of the, the other head. Okay. So, looks like the head is uh, on a ball peg right there. I don't know if you can see it right there 
So it's on a little ball peg right there. So I guess it, um, you can fix it on a way that you can have a little bit of head bobbing. So it's good. So we go from the angry face to a more, um, I'm gonna mess you up kind of look look on your face or something, eh, whatever. <laughs> I get a bit a little excited and I get nervous even though there's nobody in front of me. All right, but there you go. So let's see if we can try and get that look on uh, right there. All righty. So I don't know, let me know which one you, do you prefer. Do you prefer the Blades of Athena? Yeah, that's another mistake I realized I made. It's called the Blades of Athena because it's literally right there. See that? Blades of Athena. And I call it the Blades of Exile. What a moron. What a maroon. But yeah, let me know which one do you prefer. The, would you pose it with the uh, Blades of Athena or would you keep it with the Nemean Sistus? I don't know. It looks dope either way. Another thing that I always question about NECA figures is like, how, the, how do they decide who gets a figure and who doesn't? Say for example, God of War 3 had a lot of good characters. Um, if we got the name in Sisters, why didn't we get a Hercules? Um, or get a Hades or a Zeus, you know, to pose them, you know, I don't know, just to complete the set, you know? And that's just one of my, one of the things that I always question, like, how, who, who, how do they decide who gets a, a figure and who doesn't, you know? But that's just me. And uh, another thing that um, I should point out is that I don't know in this figure if they should have included more accessories. I mean, again, I pointed out that I think there's another edition of this Kratos. Because I know for a fact I did see one that actually had the chains on the blades. And also had the hooks. From Hades and I don't know but it seemed like there, there was another figure with more more accessories I need to locate that and probably do another review <laughs> but that's it for today I think I prolonged this video too too much already so with that said uh, thank you very much for you guys uh, for watching all these videos um, I just noticed also that I'm close to a hundred subscribers so if you can recommend the channel to a friend or somebody, you know, that you think uh, they would appreciate my material, I really appreciate it. And I guess it's tradition if you hit 100 subscribers, you're supposed to do some sort of giveaway. So uh, I'm going to see if I reach out the, um, the 100 mark, I'm going to see what I'm going to give away and uh, try to set the thing up. But, you know, it's a work in progress. I never expected to get this far, but fortunately, I actually did. Uh, for, for that, I have you guys to thank. And, uh, well, the entire toy community, also my local toy shops, you know, they're awesome because they actually allow me to get some material to show you guys. So, that's pretty cool. Super excited. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I know to some, it doesn't seem like much, but to me, it, that's actually a big deal. Uh... And another reason why I actually pick up this set is because, I, as I, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I I play an entire trilogy, the PSP games, and then for me, it kind of ended with God of War 3. But then when they announced the new God of War, and then they said it continued from 3, I needed to see what's up. Unfortunately, I only waited for a whole year until I got to play it again. I got the game on Black Friday, and... Just recently, I popped it in and I played it. It's epic. It's awesome. I totally regret not playing it sooner. And I had to get the figure. And that, that's what got me pumped into getting this figure. And then um, at the same time, well, I guess you did see my previous video. I actually got the, the two-pack from the game. So before I get to that two-pack, I needed to get this guy out of the way. So pretty much that's going to be the next video. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for the uh, follow-up and for that two-pack. I got to, uh, I'm probably in the next two days, you're going to see a couple more videos. So I'm going to see if you guys like it and hopefully I get that 100 uh, subscriber mark. So anyway, again, I 
I'm already too, taking too long on this video. Uh, thank you so much again, okay? So, see you on the next one. I'm your host, Dibney. Thank you for watching Toy Hunters R Us. See ya. Peace.